I was a highway man Along the coach roads I did ride With sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her bobble Hello and welcome back to another episode of New Mexico's Hidden and Enchanting Treasures. I am your host Manly Chapa and on this episode we are continuing the Legends of Route 66 series as I teach you many new and exciting facts about the city of Tucumcari where legends begin. So let us dive into this episode as we explore deep into the land of enchantment. The city of Tucumcari was founded in 1901 just two years before Quay County was founded. It has an elevation of 4,091 feet, a population of 5,363 people, and a total land area of 7.6 square miles. Built as a construction camp for the Rock Island and Pacific Railroads, it was originally called Ragtown, which was renamed to Six Shooter Siding due to the number of gunfights that would occur in the community. It gained its first formal name as the town of Douglas, but was changed to Tucumcari in 1908 named after the mountain near the newly established settlement. The name Tucumcari has many unofficial origins. The most popular origin is from the Apache legend that states an Apache chief named Watanoma was looking for a successor to his title as well as a man for his daughter. Two men were eligible for both honors, one named Tonopa and the other Tokom. Both had the strength and the spirit to both lead the Apache tribe and take Kari Chief Watanoma's daughter as their bride. To settle the dispute, both men were ordered by Chief Watanoma to fight to the death with the winner taking the honors. Both men ensued in battle with Kari unknowingly watching just a few feet away. At the end of the battle, Tonopa was able to stab Tacom, killing him. When Kari saw what had happened, she rushed to Tacom's side because unknown to Watanoma and Tonopa, she had fallen for Tacom. She then stood up, pulling the knife from Tokom's body and killed Tonopa, then turning the blade around and killing herself. When Chief Watanoma was informed about what had happened, he broke down and cried, yelling the names of both his daughter and her love, Tokom Keri. Many believe this is where the mountain and the town got its name, though many believe the story is untrue because of how unbelievable the story really is. Route 66 runs through the heart of downtown Tokom Keri. Gas stations, restaurants, and motels were built for tourists that would pass through the town. Tourists knew of the town many miles before they arrived because the town began a campaign of billboards stretching for miles in both directions that had Tucum Carry Tonight written on them. The ads were to display for tourists the claim of 2,000 rooms for rent in Tucum Carry, though that number has been lowered to 1,200. Tucumcari's historical district hosts old buildings such as the Old Rock Island Depot built in 1926, the Odeon Theater built in 1937, the Crescent Creamery, and the Princess Theater. Tucumcari has been in movies and television shows. Movies that were filmed in and around Tucumcari include Raw Hide, starring Clint Eastwood, In Cold Blood, a movie based on a novel by Truman Capote, for a few dollars more, starring Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef, and Hell or High Water, starring Chris Pine and Jeff Bridges. Mentions include the 1988 film Rain Man, starring Tom Cruise, a 1989 episode of Designing Women, NCIS, and even a 2005 episode of Supernatural. A United States Navy hydrofoil was named in honor of the town. The USS Tucumcari served from 1968 until 1972 after sailing around Puerto Rico for those years. An annual air show would happen in Tucumcari until October 4, 2006 when a single engine plane crashed at the air show, killing the pilot. In 2013, the annual Rockabilly on the Route Festival began. Notable people include Tom Blackjack Ketchum, an outlaw who robbed a post office and a store in Liberty, New Mexico, and hid in a cave not too far from Tucumcari. Musician Bob Scobie was born in Tucumcari in 1916. Actor Paul Braniga was born in 1917. Stan David, a defensive back for the Buffalo Bills, was also born in Tucumcari. So that is it for today's episode. I hope it wasn't too long. As I stated last week, I found a lot of information on Tucumcari. It proves that a lot of history can come out of a small town, as we well know now. Tune in next week as I continue covering Legends of Route 66. 
Next week will include Newkirk, Cuervo, Santa Rosa, and Milagro. Thank you all for listening in, and as always, remember that all history isn't found in textbooks. Open your eyes, and you may find some right in front of you. See your son, gotta come and get a summer that hair there on your porch. You call up Coca Pele, tell him we're on the way, way to spend some time in his resort. Like the hummingbird flies, we'll cross the state line. Well, I tell you, don't mind if I do. Light a Swiss or sweet, roll up my jeans and dip one foot in the Cimarron stream with the one I love part next to me, sitting there like a dream. Eating Minnie's ice cream on the way to Taos We'll overload them speaks With a little bit of little Michael Martin Murphy Without a doubt Where I wanna be Doing this New Mexico Doing this New Mexico kind of 